All right, welcome back. Uh, so the special counsel interviewed President Joe Biden about classified documents previously found at his home and his D.C. office. The interviews occur occurred at the White House Sunday and Monday on the second and third days of the war in Israel. Among the questions that raises, was that the best use of the commander in chief's time? Here was the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, this afternoon. The president is able to do multiple things at once, right? As president, he has to do multiple things at once. And that's what you saw him do this weekend. So she's basically saying there uh, the president can walk and, and chew gum at the same time. When, when this came out yesterday, a lot of the <gasps> was <gasps> he got interviewed. And I thought, why on earth are they interviewing the commander in chief on day two and day three of the war? And why didn't he tell them, let's do this next week in two weeks? I, I don't understand. Well, you know, there's a lot of planning that goes into interviewing any witness or target or subject of an investigation, yeah. especially the president, if you will. Yeah. We don't know how much preparation, the scheduling issues, and how soon uh, this investigation is either going to continue I to move forward you, but, but, or, or it's going to shut down. Yeah. He may be the last witness in the process. He, he might want to just get it out of the way. I, I, I hear you, but this is a war with Americans dead and American hostages. And that's why I say, like, why not punt this to next week? Uh, that's certainly a possibility. But again, the ins and outs and the details of this, we're not privy to. And again, uh, the press secretary is correct. He can walk and chew gum. He can segment his thoughts. And I'll be honest with you, the document investigation in and of itself, because he's being interviewed and wasn't had, didn't have to be subpoenaed, he's cooperating, there may not have been much there to do over the next couple of days vis-a-vis well, -vis the investigation and his interview. Morgan, you had a good point because you were talking about, you know, these are not necessarily scheduled by the president. I don't know how long in advance this was scheduled. He wants to look like he's cooperating. Right. The last thing he wants is any accusation, yeah. especially when we see classified information and any of those like intelligence documents are critical. He wants to look like he's cooperating. So punting that at this critical time could also draw ire. And I'm not sure that it is ultimately his responsibility that he didn't move it yeah. because I don't know if he had the wiggle room. What's and he was still monitoring the, the war what? with his team. They, yeah. still do, they didn't do push the war off really simple. Okay, look at the real clear politics average. Joe Biden is losing in the polls. You look at the Marquette poll, he's minus five in foreign relations. He's getting crushed on every single he, major issue right he's now. He's not looking at polls. That is going to define well, the 2024 it, election. Interview. This is a big, uh, remember, this is a big issue. Because remember who else has a documents case against them as well. And I'm going to tell you eventually nothing's going to happen to Biden. This is going to be handled just like Hillary Clinton. This narrative has been building. This is not the first time. We heard Blinken was interviewed, what, a week ago, a month, you know, two weeks ago. It's not like this is still has not been percolating. And this is something, again, that because Biden has documents, it is one of those deals Republicans will say, guess what? It's not the equal application. Well, I want to get more I'm going to have a turn to speak. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Um, I, what's interesting to me about this case, um, and I'm not a lawyer, so I, I like to hear Scott's take uh, you know, on this, but what's interesting to me about this case is that some of these documents go back to when he was in the Senate. Now, we know in a presidential case that there's lots of, there's the Presidential Records Act, and there's all these, like, disputes disputes over uh, does the president have the authority to keep these records, which is reserved for presidents only. What I think is uniquely different about this case is it comes whenever uh, Biden was vice president and when he was in the Senate. So that's the missing part of the case to me as somebody who has handled a lot of classified information mm -hmm. in my career. Uh, how, did, how did you, how did a senator how was he able to take classified information out of a skiff? Because they're not allowed to keep classified information skiff in the office. Skiff is the secure area. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So, so Senate offices are not skiffs, right? So you can't keep any classified information in there. So I just don't even know how it got out of a skiff right. uh, when he reviewed well, it. All right. why there's there's vulnerabilities. Yeah. There's vulnerabilities. You remember the you know military member who posted them on all, all online. This is a Very problem. Scary. We need to shore up our classified information. All right. Let's. Break. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.